Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of cos inverse x dx. We'll be using the light rule because we'll be solving it by parts. So let's begin. So the by parts rule formula is u into the integration of v dx minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v dx, where u and v are two different terms of the integral. The light rule helps us to decide which term we want to keep as u and which term we want to set as v. And it's on the basis of which term is easier to integrate and which term is easier to differentiate. L stands for log, I stands for inverse, inverse trigonometric, A stands for algebraic, T stands for trigonometric, E stands for exponential. This is the order of preference for the u term. So if I have a log term and an inverse trigonometric term, I would keep the log term as u and the inverse trigonometric term as v because l comes before i in the light rule. So here are two terms would be 1 into cos inverse x. I can write 1 as x raised to 0 and thus call this my algebraic term. And we can clearly see that cos inverse x is the inverse trigonometric term. So I will keep my u as the algebraic term comes after the inverse term in the light rule. So the inverse term becomes u. That is cos inverse x becomes the u term. And v term automatically becomes the algebraic term which is 1 over here. So now we can start integrating using the by parts rule. So we have cos inverse x into the integration of 1 dx minus the integration of differentiation of cos inverse x into the integration of 1 dx. Now we know that the differentiation of cos inverse x is minus 1 upon root of 1 minus x square and the integration of 1 with respect to x would be x itself. So we can write this as x cos inverse x minus the integral of minus 1 upon root minus 1x square into x dx. Okay, so now what we'll do is we will use the substitution method of integration. So if I write this as minus x upon root 1 minus x square dx, we know that the, uh, the differentiation of x square is 2x and I can see an x in the numerator. So if I multiply and divide the, the numerator and denominator by 2, I will have 2x in the numerator. So now I can write x cos inverse x minus, I can have 1 by 2 outside because it's a constant and I can keep this as minus 2x root 1 minus x square dx. Now I can write 1 minus x square as t. dt by dx becomes 0 minus 2x. So dt upon minus 2x becomes dx. And this is what we will be substituting. So we have x cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 minus 2x root t into dt upon minus 2x. So this gets cancelled x cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 integral of now this is basically 1 by root t is basically 1 upon t raised to half so if i take this up in the numerator this becomes t raised to minus half so t raised to minus half dt now we know that the integration of t raised to n with respect to t dt it would be t raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so the integration of t raised to half minus half here we would have t raised to n plus 1 so minus half plus 1 upon minus half plus 1 plus c don't forget plus c so now half minus 1 upon t raised to half minus 1 upon half minus 1 becomes t raised to half upon half here half and half will get cancelled and i can write this as root t and t was 1 minus x squared. So we can substitute that now to get the final answer. x cos inverse x 
minus root of 1 minus x square plus c. And that's the final answer. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.